Hi students, once again Kachan Srinivas is before you to tell about some important forthcoming events of CBSC Board 12 class. My dear students, all of you finished your first term examinations and you are preparing for second term examinations. I am here to tell about the syllabus, split and mode of preparation. My dear students, you make it as a note to increase your efficiency. One can increase your efficiency by increasing the uh, calculation uh, aspect. In other words, a student who can do the problem without any error, he will be the number one. This is the hairline difference between a top student and a second student. I would like to tell you about the difference between error and mistake. Error is a simple error. 2 into 3 6. Instead of writing 6, if you write 5, that is an error. Mistake. You don't know the concept. You use the concept in a different way. For example, if it is a question based on Bayes theorem, you apply classical definition. If it is a question based on binomial distribution, you apply Poisson distribution. That is a mistake. That can be rectified easily. Because it's a new concept, you are in a state of learning that can be rectified. But these errors, you know, these errors has to be monitored. 2 into 3 is 6, everybody knows it. But while doing calculations, you will write 2 into 3 as 5. That is an error. Most of the students, in my experience, what I see is most of the students, they lose their marks only by doing the errors. These errors has to be avoided. These errors can be avoided only by practice. Only by practice. Practice makes the man perfect. And you know very well, mathematics is a special subject. Mathematics is a subject which should be on your fingertips, but not on the tip of a tongue. To make mathematics, to dance on your fingertips, you should practice more. You should work out, work out, work out. Revise, revise, re-revise. That makes you number one. Dear students, Complete mathematics in a nutshell is made up of only four operations, namely addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. That's all. One should be very good in addition, subtraction, multiplications and divisions. Automatically other concepts will follow you. Whether it is a Bayes theorem or whether it may be a more complicated theorem. So this is about the brief introduction. coming to the syllabus. Your syllabus will can divide into three parts. One is calculus, second part is vector algebra and 3D geometry, next part is probability. In calculus, he has given you three chapters, integration, applications of integration and differential equations. In the second part, he has given you 3D geometry and vector algebra. Finally, probability. These are the three sectors which the CGSC board would like to test you. And dear students, I would like to tell you that these chapters are important and it is easy to prepare. Why? Because you take first chapter, integration. Already you have done differentiation in the first year, previous uh, uh, months. It is just continuation of that. Trend. So if you are good in differentiation, automatically you can do integration. Applications of integration which includes areas and all, which is a continuation of integration. You are good in differentiation, you are good in integration, automatically uh, applications of integration will become easy. Next is differential equations. There are few methods, if you master those methods, it's a cakewalk. Yes, really I mean it. It's a cakewalk to do differential equations. Very simple. This is about calculus. Next, 3D geometry and vector algebra. These two are also very easy. I say there is no new formula you are going to study in 3D geometry and vector algebra. Because what all the formulae you studied in your 2D geometry, same formulae here also you will be doing. Like midpoint, there x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. It is x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2, z1 plus z2 by 2. Here third coordinate will be added. Similarly, 
their system of lines is L1 plus lambda L2 equal to 0. Here also you will apply the same formula. Section formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, my2 plus ny1 by m plus n. Here same was z coordinate will be extended. All formulae whatever is studied in the 2D geometry follows in 3D geometry also. Vector algebra and 3D geometry as I told you they are linked. Finally probability. Probability is also an easy topic. Students fear and they feel that it's a complicated chapter. But it's a chapter which deals with your logic but not IQ. Intelligency quotient will not play any role. Only your common sense and logic. Apply your logic. Work out the problems. Probability. You feel very much comfortable. Calculus 18 marks, vector algebra and 3D geometry 14 marks, and probability 8 marks. So, this is about your weightage. I am giving you this weightage only for the sake of clarity. It is not like that calculus is having more marks, so you should give maximum importance. No, not at all. You should give equal importance to all the three sectors. You should give equal importance to all the three sectors. This is only for the sake of clarity. Preparation, I say three levels of preparation. If you follow the instructions, I am damn sure that you will be number one position. Level one is your NCRT book. NCRT book is systematically designed by CBSE board. Take NCRT book, take the chapters, your uh, calculus, integration, applications of integration, differential equations, namely 7th, 8th and 9th chapters. Do each and every question from your CBS question. Next, 10th and 11th chapter is your algebra and 3D geometry. Work out the problems. Next is probability. This is level 1 of preparation. Level 2, take your exemplar textbook given by CBS board only. Same chapters you will find in exemplar. Work out each and every question. These questions test your IQ. If you work out these questions, it will become a cakewalk to appear an exam, CBSC word type or JW mains are advanced. It is exhaustively meant. This is your second level of preparation. And finally, take old model question papers. I mean old question papers, previous years question papers. Around five question papers are enough. Work out each and every question from this. This completes your preparation. If you follow these instructions, I am damn sure that you will be number one. Yes, it is a fact. This is the hairline difference between a meritorious student or a student who got maximum marks and average marks. We want to see each and every individual as a meritorious student. One more point I would like to bring before you is all the chapters, integration, Applications of integration, differential equations, algebra, vector algebra and 3D geometry, probability, all these are important even for competitive exam. It may be JW means or JW advance. So, you are preparing for second term means, here all these chapters you are preparing for your final uh, competitive exam also. So, keep both the points in your view. Don't feel that it's a waste of time to do exemplar. No, not at all. It is worth. Similarly, previous discussion. If you work out in this fashion, definitely success will follow you. Yes, I mean success will follow you. Students, this is the thing which I would like to put it before you. Once micro level schedule is there, I'll come out and I'll discuss with you in detail. Okay, students, all the best. May God bless you.